Blessed is our God, always, now, and ever, and unto the ages of ages. Amen. Glory to thee, our God, glory to thee. O heavenly King, Comforter, the Spirit of Truth, Lord, everywhere present, and fill us to all things, treasure of good gifts, and giver of life, come and abide in us, and cleanse us of all stain, and save our souls, O good one. Holy God, holy mighty, holy immortal, have mercy on us. Holy God, holy mighty, holy immortal, have mercy on us. Holy God, holy mighty, holy immortal, have mercy on us. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, both now and ever, and unto ages of ages. Amen. All holy Trinity, have mercy on us. Lord, cleanse us from our sins. Master, pardon our iniquities. Holy God, visit and heal our infirmities for thy name's sake. Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, both now and ever, and unto ages of ages. Amen. Father, Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit, now and ever and unto the ages of ages. Amen. 
O Lord, save thy people and bless thine inheritance, granting to thy people victory over all adversaries, and by thy cross preserving thine estate. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, do thou of thine own good will was lifted up upon the cross. O Christ our God, bestow thy bounties upon the new nation, which is called by thy name. Make glad in thy might those who lawfully govern, that with them we may be led to victory over our adversaries, having in thy name a weapon of peace and a trophy invincible. Both now and ever and unto ages of ages, amen. O champion dread, who canst not be put to confusion, despise not our petitions. O good and all praise, Theotokos, establish the way of the Orthodox, save those who have been called upon to govern us, leading us all to that victory which is from heaven, for thou art she who gave us birth to God. And alone are blessed. Have mercy on us, O God, according to thy great mercy. We pray thee, hearken and have mercy. Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy. Again we pray for all pious and orthodox Christians. Again we pray for our Metropolitan Joseph and our Bishop Basil and all our brotherhood in Christ. Thou art a merciful God and lovest mankind and unto thee do we ascribe glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and unto the ages of ages. Amen. Bless Master in the name of the Lord. Glory to the holy consubstantial life, giving an undivided trinity, always, now and ever, and unto the ages of ages. Amen. Glory to God in the highest on earth, peace, goodwill toward men, Glory to God in the highest and on earth, peace, goodwill toward men. Glory to God in the highest and on earth, peace, goodwill toward men. O Lord, open thou my lips, my mouth shall show forth thy praise. O Lord, open thou my lips, my mouth shall show forth thy praise. Lord, how are they increased that trouble me? Many are they that rise up against me. Many there be which say of my soul, there is no help for him in God. But thou, O Lord, art the shield for me, my glory, and the lifted up of my head. I cried unto the Lord with my voice, and he heard me out of his holy hill. I laid me down and slept, I awaked, for the Lord sustained me. I will not be afraid of ten thousands of people that have set themselves against me round about. Arise, O Lord, save me, O my God, for thou hast smitten all my enemies upon the cheekbone. Thou hast broken the teeth of the ungodly. Salvation belongeth unto the Lord. Thy blessing is upon thy people. I laid me down and slept. I awake, for the Lord sustained me. The Lord rebuked me not in thy wrath, neither chased me in thy hot displeasure, for thy arrows stick fast in me, and thy hand presseth me sore. There is no soundness in my flesh because of thine anger, neither is there any rest in my bones because of my sin. For mine iniquities are gone over my head as a heavy burden, they are too heavy for me. My wounds stink and are corrupt because of my foolishness, I am troubled. I am bowed down greatly, and I go mourning all the day long. For my loins are filled with the loathsome disease, and there is no soundness in my flesh. I am feel, feeble and sore broken, I have roared by reason of this quietness of my heart. Lord, all my desire is before thee, and my groaning is not hid from thee. My heart panteth, my strength faileth me. As for the light of my eyes, it is also gone from me. My lover is in my friends, stand aloof from my sore, and my kinsmen stand afar off. They also that seek after my life lay snares for me, and they that seek my hurt speak mischievous things and imagine deceits all the day long. But I as a deaf man heard not, and I was as a dumb man that openeth not his mouth. Thus I was as a man that heareth not, and in whose mouth are no reproofs. For in thee, O Lord, do I hope thou wilt hear, O Lord, my God. For I said, Hear me, lest, other, lest otherwise they should rejoice over me. When my foot slippeth, they magnify themselves against me. For I am ready to halt, and my, and my sorrow is continually before me. For I will declare mine iniquities, and I will be sorry for my sin. But my enemies are lively, and they are, they are strong, and they that hate me wrongfully are multiplied. They also that render evil for good are my adversaries, because I follow the thing that good is. 
Forsake me not, O Lord my God, be not far from me. Make haste to help me, O Lord my salvation. Forsake me not, O Lord my God, be not far from me. Make haste to help me, O Lord my salvation. O God, thou art my God, early will I seek thee. My soul thirsteth for thee, my flesh longeth for thee in a dry and thirsty land where no water is, to see thy power and thy glory, so as I have seen thee in the sanctuary. Because a loving kindness is better than life, my lips shall praise thee, lest will I bless thee while I live, I lift up my hands in thy name. My soul shall be satisfied as with marrow and fatness, and my mouth shall praise thee with joyful lips. When I remember thee upon my bed and meditate on thee in the night watches, because thou hast been my help, therefore in the shadow of thy wings will I rejoice. My soul falleth hard after thee, thy right hand upholdeth me. But those that seek after my soul to destroy it shall go into the lower parts of the earth, they shall fall by the sword, they shall be a portion for foxes. But the king shall rejoice in God, and every one that sweareth by him shall glory. But the mouth of them that speak lies shall be stopped. Meditate on the end of the night, watches, because thou hast been my help. Therefore, in the shadow of thy wings will I rejoice. My soul falleth hard after thee, thy right hand upholdeth me. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, both now and ever, and unto ages of ages. Amen. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. Glory to thee, O God. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. Glory to thee, O God. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. Glory to thee, O God, Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. Both now and ever, and unto ages of ages. Amen. O Lord God of my salvation, I have cried day and night before thee. Let my prayer come before thee, incline thine ear to my cry, for my soul is full of troubles, and my life draweth nigh into the grave. I am counted with them that go down into the pit. I am as a man that hath no strength, free among the dead, like the, like the slain that lie in the grave, whom thou rememberest no more, and they are cut off from thy hand. Thou hast laid me in the lowest pit, and darkness in the deeps. Thy wrath lieth hard upon me, and thou hast afflicted me with all thy waves. Thou hast put away mine acquaintance far from me. Thou hast made me an abomination unto them. I am shut up, and I cannot come forth. Mine eye mourneth by reason of affliction. Lord, I have called daily upon thee. I have stretched out my hands unto thee. Will thou show wonders to the dead? Shall the dead arise and praise thee? Shall thy loving kindness be declared in the grave for thy faithfulness and destruction? Shall thy wonders be known in the dark, and thy righteousness in the land of forgetfulness? But unto thee have I cried, O Lord, and in the morning shall my prayer come before thee. Lord, why castest thou off my soul? Why hidest thou thy face from me? I am afflicted and ready to die from my youth up. While I suffer thy terrors, I am distracted. Thy fierce wrath goeth over me, thy terrors have cut me off. They came round about me daily like water, they compassed me about together. Lover and friend hast thou put far from me and mine acquaintance into darkness. O Lord God of my salvation, I have cried day and night before thee. Let my prayer come before thee, incline thine ear unto my cry. Bless the Lord, O my soul, and all that is within me. Bless his holy name. Bless the Lord, O my soul, and forget not all his benefits, who forgiveth all thine iniquities, who healeth all thy diseases, who redeemeth thy life from destruction, who crowneth thee with loving kindness and tender mercies, who satisfieth thy mouth with good things, so that thy youth is renewed like the eagles. The Lord executeth righteousness and judgment for all that are oppressed. He made known his ways unto Moses, his acts unto the children of Israel. The Lord is merciful and gracious, slow to anger and plenteous in mercy. He will not always chide, neither will he keep his anger forever. He hath not dealt with us after our sins, nor rewarded us according to our iniquities. For as the heaven is high above the earth, so great is his mercy toward them that fear him. As far as the east is from the west, so far hath he removed our transgressions from us. Like as a father pitieth his children, so the Lord pitieth them that fear him. For he knoweth our frame, he remembereth that we are dust. As for man, his days are as grass, as a flower of the field, so he flourisheth. For the wind passeth over it, and it is gone and the place thereof shall know it no more. But the mercy of the Lord is from everlasting to everlasting upon them that fear him and his righteousness unto children's children, to such as keep his covenant and to those that remember his commandments to do them. The Lord hath prepared his throne in the heavens, and his kingdom ruleth over all. Bless the Lord, ye his angels that excel in strength, that do his commandments, hearkening unto the voice of his word. Bless ye the Lord, all ye his hosts, ye ministers of his that do his pleasure. Bless the Lord, all his works and all places of his dominion. Bless the Lord, O my soul. In all places of his dominion, bless the Lord, O my soul. Hear my prayer, O Lord, give ear to my supplications. In thy faithfulness answer me, and in thy righteousness. And enter not into judgment with thy servant, for in thy sight shall no man living be justified. For the enemy hath persecuted my soul, he hath smitten my life down to the ground. He hath made me to dwell in darkness as those that have been long dead. Therefore is my spirit overwhelmed within me, my heart within me is desolate. I remember the days of old, I meditate on all thy works, I muse on the work of thy hands. I stretch forth my hands unto thee, my soul thirsteth after thee as a thirsty land. Hear me speedily, O Lord, my spirit faileth, hide not thy face from me, lest I be likened to them that go down into the pit. Cause me to hear thy loving kindness in the morning, for in thee do I trust. Cause me to know the way wherein I should walk, for I lift up my soul unto thee. 
Deliver me, O Lord, from mine enemies. I flee unto thee to hide me. Teach me to do thy will, for thou art my God. Thy spirit is good. Lead me into the land of her brightness. Quicken me, O Lord, for thy name's sake, for thy righteousness' sake. Bring my soul out of trouble, and of thy mercy cut off mine enemies, and destroy all them that afflict my soul, for I am, for I am thy servant. O Lord, give ear to my supplications, and enter not into judgment with thy servant. O Lord, give ear to my supplications, and enter not into judgment with thy servant. Thy spirit is good. Lead me into the land of our brightness. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, both now and ever, and unto ages of ages. Amen. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. Glory to thee, O God. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. Glory to thee, O God. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. Glory to thee, O God. O our God and our hope, glory to thee. In peace, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For the peace from above, for the salvation of our souls, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For the peace of the whole world, for the good estate of the holy churches of God, and the union of all, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For this holy house and for those who with faith, reverence, and the fear of God enter therein, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For Metropolitan Joseph, our Bishop Basil, the honorable priest of the diaconate in Christ, for all the clergy and the people, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For our country, its president, civil authorities, and armed forces, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For the city, for every city and countryside, and the faithful who dwell therein, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For healthful seasons, abundance of the fruits of the earth, and for peaceful times, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For travelers by land, by sea, and by air, the sick, the suffering, the captive, and for their salvation, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For our deliverance from all tribulation, wrath, danger, necessity, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. Help us, save us, have mercy on us, and keep us, O God, by thy grace. Lord, have mercy. Calling to remembrance are all holy immaculate, most blessed and glorious lady, the Theotokos, most and holy Theotokos, let us commend ourselves and each other and all our life unto Christ our God. To thee, o Lord. For unto thee are due all glory, honor, and worship, to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and unto the ages of ages. Amen. God is the Lord and hath appeared unto us. Blessed is he that cometh in the name of the Lord. Oh, give thanks unto the Lord and call upon his holy name. Allah, Rabbu Dhahar Alana, Mubarakun Ilati Bismillah. All nations compass me about, but in the name of the Lord will I destroy them. God is the Lord and hath appeared unto us. Blessed is he that cometh in the name of the Lord. This is the Lord's doing, it is marvelous in our eyes. God is the Lord and hath appeared unto us. Blessed is he that cometh in the name of the Lord. When thou didst 
submit thyself unto death. O thou that is an immortal one, then thou didst destroy hell with thy godly power. And when thou didst raise the dead from beneath the earth, all of the powers of heaven did cry aloud unto thee. O Christ, thou giver of life, glory to thee. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. When thou didst submit thyself unto death, O thou deathless and immortal one, then thou didst destroy hell with thy godly power. And when thou didst raise the dead from beneath the earth, all the powers of heaven did cry aloud unto thee. O Christ, thou giver of life, glory to thee. All now and ever and unto ages of ages. Amen. Exceeding glorious beyond the power of thought are thy mysteries, O Theotokos. For being sealed in purity and preserved in virginity, thou wast acknowledged to be in very truth the mother who didst bring forth the true God. Wherefore entreat him to save our souls. Again and again in peace, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. Save us, have mercy on us, and keep us, O God, by thy grace. Lord, have mercy. Calling to remembrance our all holy, immaculate, most blessed and glorious Lady, the Theotokos and ever virgin most Mary. Holy all the saints. Let us commend ourselves and each other, and all our life unto Christ our God. To thee, O Lord. And thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit, now and ever and unto the ages of ages. Amen. Verily, the honorable Joseph didst bring down thy pure body from the tree, wrapped it in fine linen, and laid it in a new tomb. But thou didst rise in three days, O Lord, granting the world great mercy. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit. Verily the angel did appear at the tomb, saying to the ointment-bearing women, The ointment is worthy of the dead, but Christ hath been shown to be foreign to corruption. Rather cry ye instead, The Lord is risen, granting the world great mercy, both now and ever and unto ages of ages. Amen. O Virgin Theotokos, exceeding, exceeding glorified, we praise thee, for by thy cross of thy son, Hades has been demolished, and death has been put to death. And we did rise after we were dead, and became worthy of life, and obtained the paradise of the ancient bliss. Wherefore, we glorify Christ in thankfulness, for he is our dear God, and alone abundant in mercies. O Lord, since thou didst not prevent the sealing of the tombstone when thou didst arise, thou didst bestow on all the rock of fidelity, O Lord, glory to thee. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. Really, the assembly of the disciples rejoiced as for us we celebrate with them a common festival to honor and the exaltation of thy resurrection, exclaiming to thee, O Lord, lover of mankind, grant thy people through their supplications great mercy. Both now and ever and unto ages of ages, amen. Most blessed art thou, O virgin Theotokos, for through him that was incarnate of thee is Hades despoiled, Adam is recalled from the dead, the curse is made void. 
Eve is set free, death is slain, and we are endowed with life. Wherefore, in hymns of praise we cry aloud, Blessed art thou, O Christ our God, who is thus well pleased, glory to thee. Blessed are the blameless in the way who walk in the law of the Lord. Blessed are they that search out his testimonies. With their whole heart shall they seek after him. For they that work iniquities have not walked in his way. Thou hast enjoined thy commandments that we should keep them most diligently. Would that my words were directed to keep thy statue. Then shall I not be ashamed when I look on all thy commandments. I will confess thee with the brightness of heart when I have learned the judgments of thy righteousness. I will keep thy statutes, do not utterly forsake me. Wherewithal shall a young man correct his way by keeping thy word. With my whole heart have I sought after thee, Cast me not away from thy commandments. In my heart have I hid thy sayings, that I might not sin against thee. Blessed art thou, O Lord, teach me thy statutes. The company of the angels was amazed when they beheld thee numbered among the dead. Yet thyself, O Savior, destroyed the power of death, and with thee raising up Adam, and releasing all men from hell. Evlogito si kirie didakson meta dikeomatasu. Wherefore, all women disciples, do ye mingle sweet smelling spices with your tears of pity? The radiant angel within the sepulchre cried unto the myrrh bearing women. Behold the grave and understand, for the Savior is risen from the tomb. Blessed art thou, O Lord, teach me thy statutes. Very early in the morning did the myrrh-bearing women run lamenting unto thy tomb. But an angel came toward them, saying, The time for lamentation is past. Weep not, but announce unto the apostles the resurrection. Mubarakun anta ya Rabbi alimni hukukak. The myrrh-bearing women mourned as bearing spices they drew near thy tomb, O Savior. But the angel spake unto them, saying, why number ye the living among the dead? In that he is God, he is risen from the grave. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. We adore the Father, as also the Son, and the Holy Spirit. The Holy Trinity, one in one essence, crying with the seraphim. Holy, holy, holy art thou, O Lord. Both now and ever, and unto ages of ages, amen. In that thou didst bear the giver of life, O virgin. Thou didst redeem Adam from sin, and didst give to Eve joy in place of sadness. 
And he who was incarnate of thee, both God and man, hath restored to life those who had fallen therefrom. Alleluia, 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 doxa si o theo. Alleluia, 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 glory to thee, O God. Again and again in peace, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. Help us, save us, have mercy on us, and keep us, O God, by thy grace. Lord, have mercy. Calling to remembrance our holy, immaculate, most blessed and glorious Lady, the Theotokos and ever Virgin Holy Mary, with all the saints. Say. Let us commend ourselves and each other and all our life unto Christ our God. To thee, O Lord. For blessed is thy name and glorified is thy kingdom of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit, now and ever and unto the ages of ages. Amen. The women went to the tomb after thy passion to anoint thy body, O Christ God, where they saw a vision of angels and were astonished, for they heard them crying with a loud voice, The Lord is risen and hath granted the world great mercy. Behold, O Savior, toward heaven I raise the eyes of my heart to thee. Save me by thine illumination, O Christ. Have mercy upon us, guilty men, who transgress against thee often and in every hour. Give us before the end the means of a repentance acceptable to thee. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, both now and ever, and unto ages of ages. Amen. Verily, sovereignty over creation, its sanctification, and its motion are of the Holy Spirit. For he is God, consubstantial, and with the Father, and with the Word. Except the Lord were in our midst, who could have been kept safe from the man-destroying enemy. Verily, mine enemies roar like lions, O Savior. Deliver not thy servant to their teeth. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, both now and ever, and unto ages of ages. Amen. The Holy Spirit is the element of life and honor, for as God he doth establish all creatures and preserve them in the Father and the Son. They who put their trust in the Lord are like the holy mountain, for they are never shaken by the attacks of Belial. They put not forth their hands to the evil who live the divine life, for Christ God will not deliver his inheritance to the evil ones. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, both now and ever, and unto ages of ages. Amen. The Holy Spirit is the fount of all wisdom, for from him cometh the grace to the apostles. The martyrs by him are crowned in their struggles, and the prophets in foreknowledge look to him. Arise, O my Lord and God, in the precept which thou hast commanded, and a congregation of people shall surround thee. Arise, O my Lord and God, in the precept which thou hast commanded, and a congregation of people shall surround thee. My Lord and my God, in thee have I put my trust. Arise, O my Lord and God, in the precept which thou hast commanded. And a congregation of people shall surround thee. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord have mercy. For holy art thou, our God, who restest among the holy, and unto thee do we ascribe glory, to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and unto the ages of ages. Amen. Let everything that hath breath praise the Lord. Lord, Lord, 
نفس ما فلتسامح الراب. Praise ye God and his saints. Praise him in the firm foundation of his power. Let everything that hath breath praise the Lord. And that we may be accounted worthy to hear the Holy Gospel. Let us beseech the Lord our God. Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy. Wisdom, stand upright. Let us hear the Holy Gospel. Peace be unto all. And to thy spirit. The reading of the Holy Gospel is according to St. Mark. Glory to thee, O Lord. Glory to thee. Let us attend. At that time when Jesus rose early on the first day of the week, he appeared first to Mary Magdalene, from whom he had cast out seven demons. She went and told those who had been with him as they mourned and wept. But when they heard that he was alive and had been, had been seen by her, they would not believe it. After this, he appeared in another form to two of them as they were walking into the country, and they went back and told the rest, but they did not believe them. Afterward, he appeared to the eleven themselves as they sat at the table, and he upbraided them for their unbelief and hardness of heart, because they had not believed those who had seen him after he had risen. And he said to them, Go into all the world and preach the gospel to the whole creation. He who believes and is baptized will be saved, but he who does not believe will be condemned. And these signs will accompany those who believe. In my name they will cast out demons, they will speak in new tongues, they will pick up serpents, and if they drink any deadly thing, it will not hurt them. They will lay their hands upon the sick, and they will recover. So then the Lord, after he had spoken to them, was taken up into heaven and sat down at the right hand of God. And they went forth and preached everywhere, the Lord working with them, confirming the word by the signs that attend. beheld the resurrection of Christ, let us worship the Holy Lord Jesus, the only sinless one. Thy cross do we adore, O Christ, and thy holy resurrection we praise and glorify. For thou art our God, and we know none other beside thee, we call upon thy name. O come, all ye faithful, let us adore Christ's holy resurrection, for lo, through the cross joy is come into all the world. Ever blessing the Lord, let us sing his resurrection, for in that he endured the cross for us, he hath destroyed death by death. Have mercy upon me, O God, according to thy great mercy, according to the multitude of thy tender mercies, blot out mine iniquity. Wash me thoroughly from mine iniquity, and cleanse me from my sin. For I acknowledge mine iniquity, and my sin is ever before me. Against thee only have I sinned and done evil in thy sight, that thou mightest be justified in thy words and prevail when thou art judged. For behold, I was shapen in iniquity, and in sin did my mother conceive me. For behold, thou hast loved truth, the unclear and hidden things of thy wisdom, thou hast made clear to me. Thou shalt sprinkle me with hyssop, and I shall be clean. Thou shalt wash me, 
and I shall be whiter than snow. Thou shalt make me to hear joying gladness, the bones which thou hast broken shall rejoice. Turn away thy face from my sins, and blot out all mine iniquity. Create in me a clean heart, O God, and renew a right spirit within me. Ask me not to wait from thy presence, and take not thy Holy Spirit from me. Restore unto me the joy of thy salvation, and steady me with the guiding Spirit. And will I teach transgressors thy ways, and the ungodly shall be converted unto thee. Deliver me from blood guiltiness, O God, Thou God of my salvation, and my tongue shall sing aloud of Thy righteousness. O Lord, open Thou my lips, and my mouth shall declare Thy praise. For hast Thou desired sacrifice, I would have given it Thee, Thou delightest not in burnt offerings. Sacrifices to God are a contrite spirit, a contrite and humble heart, O God, Thou wilt not despise. Do good, O Lord, in Thy good will unto Zion, that the walls of Jerusalem may be built up. And shall Thou be pleased with the sacrifice of righteousness, with burnt offering and whole burnt offering. Then shall they offer bullocks upon thine altar. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit through the intercession of the apostles, O Thou who art merciful, blot out all the multitudes of our transgressions, O Thou and ever and unto ages of ages. Amen. upon me, O God, according to thy great mercy, according to thy loving kindness, according to the multitude of thy tender mercies, blot out my transgressions, Jesus having risen from the grave as he foretold, hath given unto us life eternal and great mercy. O God, save thy people and bless thine inheritance. Visit thy world with mercy and compassions. Exalt the horn of Orthodox Christians and send down upon us thy rich mercies. Through the intercessions of our all immaculate Lady the Theotokos and ever Virgin Mary, by the might of the precious and life-giving cross, by the protection of the honorable bodiless powers of heaven, at the supplication of the honorable glorious prophet, forerunner and baptist John, of the holy glorious all audible apostles of our fathers among the saints, great hierarchs and ecumenical teachers, Basil the Great, Gregor the Theologian, and John Chrysostom, Athanasius, Cyril, and John the Merciful, patriarchs of Alexandria, Nicholas of Mir and Lycaea, Spirit on Ephtramethos, and Nectarios of Pentopolis, the wonder workers of our Father among the saints, Raphael, Bishop of Brooklyn, of the holy glorious great martyrs, George the trophy bearer, protector of this holy cathedral, Demetrios the Merce dreaming, Theodore the soldier, Theodore the general, and Minas the wonder worker, 
of the higher martyrs, Ignatius the God Varela of Antioch, Arolampos and Eleutherios, of the holy glorious and great women martyrs, Thecla, Barbara, Anastasia, Catherine, Kiriaki, Potini, Marina, Parasca, Via, and Irene, of the holy glorious and right victorious martyrs, of our venerable and god bearing fathers who have shown in the ascetic life, of the holy and righteous ancestors of God, Joachim and Anna, and of all thy saints, we beseech thee, only most merciful Lord, hearken unto the petitions of us sinners who make our supplication unto thee, and have mercy on us. compassion and love for mankind of thine only begotten Son, with whom thou art blessed, together with thine all holy good and life-giving Spirit, now and ever and unto the ages of ages. Amen. Arisen art thou, almighty Savior, from the tomb. As Hades beheld, he trembled at the miracle. And the dead arose, and creation, seeing this, doth rejoice with thee. And as Adam is also glad, the world, O my Savior, praiseth thee forever. Thou art the light of those in darkness. Thou art the resurrection of all and the life of mortals. And thou didst raise all together with thyself, O Savior. And when thou didst despoil their dominion of death and didst break the gates of Hades, O word, mortals marveled, beholding the wonder. All creation rejoiceth together because of thy resurrection, O lover of mankind. Wherefore, we too all glorify and praise thy condescension. In the world, O my Savior, praiseth thee forever. On July 3rd, in the Holy Orthodox Church, we commemorate the holy martyr Hyacinth, the chamberlain and his companions of Caesarea in Cappadocia. By his intercession, O Christ God, have mercy upon us. Amen. I shall open my mouth to chant, and with the Spirit shall I be filled. And word shall I now pour forth unto the mother and queen. And I shall be seen in joyous jubilation, acclaiming exultantly all of her wondrous deeds. Make steadfast, O holy Theotokos, thou living and never-failing spring. All of them that form a company and gather for to praise thy name. And by thy grace divine, O maid, deem them all worthy of glory's crowns. Seated in his holy glory on the throne of divinity, Jesus God transcendent cometh on a light cloud as King of all, and he has saved by his pure and undefiled hands. Them that cry to him, glory, O Christ, to thy sovereign might. All creatures were sore amazed at thy divine and great glory made. O pure virgin who hast not known wedlock, for thou didst hold in thy womb the God of all, and gavest birth to the timeless Son who doth grant salvation unto all them that acclaim thy name. On this divine and most honored feast of God's all holy mother, let all of godly mind now celebrate. Come, let us faithful now clap our hands and send up glory unto the God whom she hath born. No created thing, but only the Creator with the godly-minded use. 
adore and worship as God. But manfully trampling down threats of fire, they cried out, O oh, supremely praised and all acclaimed one, blessed art thou, O thou Lord God of our fathers. We praise, we bless, and we worship the Lord. Three guiltless youths cast in the furnace were saved by the offspring which the Theotokos bear. Then in figure and in time, now in very truth and deed. And he hath gathered all the world which crieth out in chant. Ye works of his, oh sing the Lord's praises, and exalt him greatly for ages and all ages. The Theotokos and Mother of the Light, let us honor and magnify in song. My soul doth magnify the Lord, and my spirit doth rejoice in God my Savior. More honorable than the cherubim, and more glorious beyond compare than the seraphim. Thou who without stain bearest God the word, and are truly Theotokos, we magnify thee. For he hath regarded the lowliness of his handmaiden. For behold, from henceforth all generations shall call me blessed. Yemen he akramu mina sherubim iwarfomajdan. بغيرك يا سن من السرفيم التي بغير فسار ولدت كلمة الله وهي حقا والدة الليلة إياك نعظيم For he that is mighty has magnified me and holy is his name It is mercies on them that fear him throughout all generations. <clears throat> more honorable than the cherubim, and more glorious beyond compare than the seraphim. Thou without stain bearest God the word, and art truly Theotokos, we magnify thee. He had shown strength with his arm, he had scattered the proud in the imagination of their hearts. More honorable than the cherubim, and more glorious beyond compare than the seraphim. Thou who without stain bearest God the word, and art truly Theotokos, we magnify thee. He has put down the mighty from their seat, and hath exalted the humble and meek. He has filled the empty with good things, and the rich hath he sent empty away. Yemen he akramu mina sherubimi wa arkomajdan Bighayna kiyasan mina serafim Allati bighayna fasana waladat kalimat Allah Wa ya haqqan walidatu lila iya kin wadim He remembering his mercy of hope in his servant Israel as he promised to our forefathers Abraham and his seed forever. More honorable than the cherubim, and more glorious beyond compare than the seraphim. Thou without stain bearest God the word, and art truly Theotokos, we magnify thee. Let every earthborn man up leap in the spirit and now hold his torch on high. And let all the body, let's know at a coast now celebrate joyously. The Theotokos is sublime and sacred festival. As they cry out, rejoice O thou, O blessed one. Ever virgin and pure mother of our God. A 
again and again in peace, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. Help us, save us, have mercy upon us, and keep us, O God, by thy grace. Lord, have mercy. All into remembrance are all holy, immaculate, most blessed and glorious lady, the Theotokos, and ever-Virgin Mary Holy with all the saints. Sing. Let us commend oh. ourselves and each other and all our life. Unto Christ our God. To thee, O Lord. For all the powers of heaven praise thee, and unto thee do they ascribe glory, to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and unto the ages of ages. Amen. Holy is the Lord our God. Son who are Rabbu Ilahuna. Holy is the Lord our God. Exalt ye the Lord our God and worship at his footstool. For he is holy. Verily Christ is risen. Let no one doubt or be suspicious, for he appeared to Mary, and after that to those who went fishing. Then he appeared to his eleven initiates as they were reclining, whom he sent to baptize. And he ascended to heaven whence he had descended, establishing his warning by a multitude of wonders. O Son, that from the grave thus day has dawned forth like a bridegroom from the bright chamber coming forth and has both plundered Hades and smitten death with destruction. Now through thy mother's pleadings do thou send forth thy light upon us. Thy divine light enlightening our hearts and our souls, light that guideth all in the way to travel, the path of thy divine commandments and ways of peace forever. Let everything that hath breath praise the Lord. Praise ye the Lord from the heavens. Praise him. Glorify thee, O 
Lord with every breath. For by the cross thou didst demolish death, that thou mightest manifest to the nations thy resurrection from the dead. For thou alone art the lover of mankind. Praise God in his sanctuary. Praise him in the firmament of his power. Answer, O Jews, how was it that the guardian soldiers lost the king whom they were guarding? Why was it that the stone could not retain the book of life? Either must ye therefore deliver to us him that was buried or worship with us him who is risen shouting glory to thy bountiful mercies our Savior glory to thee praise him for his mighty acts praise him according to his excellent greatness Rejoice, O nations, and be glad. For the angel sat on the stone of the grave and given us the glad tidings, The Savior of the world is risen from the dead. He hath filled all with the sweet scent. Rejoice, O ye nations, and be joyful. Praise Him with the sound of the trumpet. Praise Him with the psaltery and harp. O Lord God, verily before Thy conception an angel did come with peace to her who is full of grace. And now an angel hath rolled the stone from the doors of thy tomb. May glorious by thy resurrection the first angels spake with signs of joy instead of sorrow. And the latter brought us the glad tidings of the Lord who giveth life instead of death. Therefore do we shout to thee, O benefactor of all, glory to thee. Praise him with the temple and dance, praise him with stringed instruments and organs. Verily the women did sprinkle spices with tears on thy grave, and their mouths were filled with laughter. When they said, the Lord is risen. Praise him upon loud cymbals. Praise him upon high-sounding cymbals. Let everything that hath breath praise the Lord. Let the nations and people therefore praise Christ our God. Put it 
reflection of the Savior and His appearance unto
Receive our prayer, thou that sittest at the right hand of the Father, have mercy on us. For the only art holy, the only art the Lord of Jesus Christ, to the glory of God the Father, amen. Every day will I bless thee, and I will praise thy name forever. Yea, forever and ever. Vouchsafe, O Lord, to keep us this day without sin. Blessed art thou, O Lord God of our fathers, and praised and glorified be thy name forever. Amen. Let thy mercy be upon us, O Lord, even as we have set our hope on thee. Blessed art thou, O Lord, teach me thy statue. Mubarakon and tayar, Rabbi alimni hukuka. Eblogito si kiri edivaxon me, tavike o matasu. Lord, thou hast been our refuge in all generations. I said, be merciful unto me, heal my soul, for I have sinned against thee. Lord, I have fled unto thee, teach me to do thy will, for thou art my God. For thee is the fountain of life, and in thy light shall we see light. Continue thy loving kindness unto them that know thee. Holy God, holy mighty, holy immortal, have mercy on us. Kudus on Allah, kudus on al-Kawi, kudus on al-Ladhi la yamut al-Hamna. Ayyos al-Theos, ayyos iskiros, Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. to the world, let us sing unto the author of our life, who arose from the tomb. For destroying death, he, death, he granted us the victory and great mercy. Steps unto every good work. Remember me, holy man. Thy diaconate mid, Lord God, remember his heavenly kingdom always now and ever and unto ages of ages. Bless, Master. Blessed is the kingdom of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit now and ever and unto ages of ages. <laughs> In peace, let us pray to the Lord. Lord mercy. For the peace from above and for the salvation of our souls, let us pray to the Lord. Lord mercy. For the peace of the whole world, the good estate of the holy churches of God, and the union of all men, let us pray to the Lord. Lord mercy. For 
before this holy house and those who with faith reverence in the fear of God into therein, let us pray to the Lord. Lord For our Metropolitan Joseph, our Bishop Basil, the Honorable Presbytery, the Diaconate in Christ, all the clergy and the people, let us pray to the Lord. For our country, its president, the civil authorities, and our forces, let us pray to the Lord. Lord For the city and every city and countryside and the faithful who dwell therein, let us pray to the Lord. Lord For healthful seasons, abundance of the fruits of the earth, and for peaceful times, let us pray to the Lord. Lord For travelers by sea, by land, and by air, the sick, the suffering, the captives, and for their salvation, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, For our deliverance from all tribulation, wrath, danger, and necessity, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Help us, save us, have mercy upon us, and keep us, O God, by thy grace. Calling to remembrance our all holy, immaculate, most blessed, and glorious Lady the Theotokos, and ever Virgin Mary with all the saints, let us commend ourselves and each other and all our life unto Christ our God. To the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and unto ages of ages. It is a good thing to give praise unto the Lord, and to chant unto thy name, O Most High. The intercessions of the Theotokos, O Savior, save. Proclaim thy mercy in the morning and thy truth by night. In the intercessions of the fails, O cross, O Savior, save us. For our God is just, and in him there is no oppression. In the intercessions of the fails, O cross, O Savior, save us. Again and again in peace, let us pray to the Lord. Help us, save us, have mercy upon us, and keep us, O God, by thy grace. Calling to remembrance our all holy, immaculate, most blessed and glorious Lady the Theotokos, and ever Virgin Mary with all the saints. Let us commend ourselves in each other and all our life unto Christ our God. Through thee, O Lord. Thine is the might and thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit, now and ever and unto the ages of ages. The Lord has reigned, he is clothed with beauty. The Lord is clothed with strength and hath girded himself. O Son of God, who art risen from the dead, save us who sing unto thee, Amen, O For he has established the world which shall not be moved. O Son of God, who art risen from the dead, Save us who sing unto thee, Alleluia. Holy 
holiness becometh thy house, O Lord, unto length of days. O Son of God, who art risen from the dead, save us who sing unto thee. Alleluia. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, both now and ever and unto Again and again in peace, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. Help us, save us, have mercy upon us, and keep us, O God, by thy grace. Lord, have mercy. Calling to remembrance our all holy, immaculate, most blessed and glorious Lady, the Theotokos, and ever Virgin Mary with all the saints. Let us commend ourselves and each other and all our life unto Christ our God. Lord. Thou art a good God and lovest mankind, and unto thee do we ascribe glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever and unto the ages of ages. Amen. In thy kingdom we never us, O Lord, when thou comest in thy kingdom. Blessed are the poor in spirit,
with strength. The Lord is my strength and my song. The Lord has chastened me sorely. Wisdom. The reading is from St. Paul's letter to the Romans. Let us attend. Brethren, since we are justified by faith, we have peace with God through our Lord Jesus Christ. Through him we have obtained access to this grace in which we stand, and we rejoice in our hope of sharing the glory of God. More than that, we rejoice in our sufferings, knowing that suffering produces endurance, and endurance produces character, and character produces hope, and hope does not disappoint us, because God's love has been poured into our hearts through the Holy Spirit, which has been given to us. While we were still weak, at the right time Christ died for the ungodly, why, one will hardly die for a righteous man, though perhaps for a good man one will dare even to die. But God shows his love for us in that while we were yet sinners, Christ died for us. Since, therefore, we are now justified by his blood, much more shall we be saved by him from the wrath of God. For if while we were enemies, we were reconciled to God by the death of his Son, much more now that we are reconciled, shall we be saved by his life. when we call upon you. Wisdom attend, let us hear the Holy Gospel. Peace be unto all. Reading is from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. The Lord said, The eye is the lamp of the body, so if your eye is sound, your whole body will be full of light. But if your eye is evil, your whole body will be full of darkness. If then the light is in you, if then the light in you is darkness, how great is that darkness! No one can serve two masters, for either he must hate the one or love the other, or he will be de devo devoted to the one and despise the other. You cannot serve God and mammon. Therefore I tell you, do not be anxious about your life, what you shall eat or what you shall drink, 
nor about your body. What you shall put on is not the soul more than food and the body more than clothing. Look at the birds of the air, they neither sow nor reap nor gather into barns, and yet your heavenly Father feeds them. Are you not more value than they? And which of you, by being anxious, can add one cubit to his stature? And why are you anxious about clothing? Consider the lilies of the field, how they grow, they neither toil nor spin, yet I tell you, even Solomon himself, arrayed in all his glory, was not arrayed like one of these. But if God so clothes the grass of the field today, which is alive and tomorrow is thrown into the oven, will he not much more clothe you, O man of little faith? Therefore do not be anxious, saying, What shall we eat? Or what shall we drink, or what shall we wear? For the Gentiles seek all these things. And your heavenly Father knows that you need them all. But seek first the kingdom and his righteousness, and all these things shall be yours. As In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, amen. My brothers and sisters in Christ, this is a weekend during which we celebrate America. The liberties that are enshrined in our Constitution give us much to be thankful for. Freedom of speech, freedom of assembly, most importantly, freedom of religion. And yet, on the other hand, perhaps this is a time for us to contemplate America rather than simply celebrate America. We hear much today about threats to our democracy. They come from both the right and the left. They accuse each other of the very same thing. President Trump is under investigation even now for supposedly fostering the January 6th so-called insurrection. During the campaign, the Biden campaign was accused of election fraud. And some hold that his open borders policy is simply a way of getting more people into the country, putting them on the federal dole, and making them Democrat voters to undermine our democracy. So you see the accusations go back and forth from both sides. So these are supposed threats to our democracy. And yet, oddly enough, when the Supreme Court returned the question of abortion legislation to the democratic process, we heard the cries and threats of a summer of rage to come. Why the rage? Is this not a threat to our democracy? Is there a threat to our democracy? What is the greatest threat to our democracy? We're going to spend a little time this morning contemplating that question. And as I have in the past, I'm going to be repeating some material this morning because I think it bears repeating. I'm going to quote the founding fathers of our nation rather than the church fathers for a change. 
I want to recall to you some of the fundamental principles of the American founding, principles that are today often forgotten, ignored, or distorted. Let's turn first to the father of our country, George Washington. He writes, of all the dispositions and habits which lead to political prosperity, religion and morality are indispensable supports. Reason and experience both forbid us to expect that national morality can prevail in exclusion of religious principles. Not only is morality inseparable from true religion, both are essential to our national character. John Adams put it this way, our Constitution was made only for a moral and religious people. It is wholly inadequate to the government of any other. Constitutional government then, my brothers and sisters in Christ, depends on the sound moral character of the population. And thus, in the words of James Madison, to suppose that any form of government will secure liberty or happiness without virtue in the people is a chimerical idea. And yet there are those today who advocate not only freedom of religion, but freedom from religion. It's amply demonstrated by a, a stream of Supreme Court decisions stretching back over 60 years that have increasingly restricted any public expression of faith. You can describe this as freedom from religion. But is that what the Founding Fathers had in mind? I assert that it is not. What happens then to a nation where the influence of sound religion declines, when, where morality is seen as something antiquated and Victorian that we can do without, or something that we can each make up for ourselves, where virtue is seen as something for the naive and silly. One of Thomas Jefferson's favorite quotes from Montesquieu, I never can pronounce his name, I'm not even gonna try, Montes, Amy, I'm sure you know what it is. When virtue is banished, ambition invades the minds of those who are disposed to receive it, and avarice possesses the whole community. What rules in the place of religion, morality, and virtue? Simply put, as he described, raw ambition, greed, and lust, vice and wickedness take over in the population. Jefferson goes on. It is the manners and spirit of a people which preserve a republic in vigor. Degeneracy in these is a cancer which soon eats into the hearts of its laws and constitution. John Adams adds, we have no government armed with power capable of contending with human passions unbridled by morality and religion. Avarice, ambition, revenge would break the strongest cords of our constitution as a whole, as a whale, he says, goes through a net. In the final analysis then, our sacred liberties are threatened whenever liberty is understood as license. Liberty places critical restrictions on the power of government to infringe inalienable human rights. License says, I'm free to do whatever I want. Many Americans today understand liberty precisely as license. And the harvest is one of moral degeneracy. And it is moral degeneracy I propose to you, my brothers and sisters in Christ, that is the greatest threat to our democracy and thus our liberties. Why? Benjamin Franklin explains it. Only a virtuous people are capable of freedom. As nations become more corrupt and vicious, they have more need of masters. Patrick Henry expands on that thought. Bad men cannot make good citizens. It is when a people forget God that tyrants forge their chains. 
a vitiated state of morals, a corrupted public conscience is incompatible with freedom. No free government or the blessings of liberty can be preserved to any people but by a firm adherence to justice, moderation, temperance, frugality, and virtue, and by a frequent recurrence to fundamental principles. Samuel Adams, men will be free no longer than they remain virtuous. My brothers and sisters in Christ, when we survey the moral progress of our nation since the time of our founding fathers, there are many bright things, many things worthy of celebration. The abolition of slavery, the elimination of institutional racism, the expansion of women's rights and roles in society, and much else. And yet there is at the same time great cause for concern. In this regard, the prophecy of the Apostle Paul comes to mind. Listen, but know this, that in the last days, perilous times will come, for men will be lovers of themselves, lovers of money, boasters, proud, blasphemers, disobedient to parents, unthankful, unholy, unliving, unforgiving, slanderers, without self-control, brutal, despisers of good, traitors, headstrong, haughty, lovers of pleasure rather than lovers of God. Does that description not sound familiar? Much of what we see among the riots, and the demonstrations, the behavior of people today, unthinkable only 30 or 40 years ago. If such be true, then our democracy is indeed gravely threatened. I'll close with the words of Daniel Webster. Our ancestors established their system of government on morality and religious sentiment. Moral habits, they believed, cannot safely be on any other foundation than religious principle, nor any government be secure which is not supported by moral habits. If we and our posterity reject religious instruction and authority, violate the rules of eternal justice, trifle with injunctions of morality, and recklessly destroy the political constitution which holds us together, no man can tell how sudden a catastrophe may overwhelm us that shall bury all our glory in profound obscurity. May God preserve our democracy from such an end. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Help us, save us, have mercy upon us, and keep us, O God, by thy grace, wisdom. Be guarded always by thy might, we may ascribe glory unto thee. To the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever and unto ages of ages. Desire these a great and fearful thing, even to the heavenly powers. Nevertheless, the unspeakable and his love toward mankind has Thou alone, O Lord our God, who list over those who are on earth, who are born on earth, who are the Lord, and 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 the Lord, Perform the sacred mystery of the holy and immaculate body and precious blood. For I draw near unto thee, and bowing my neck, I pray thee, turn not thy face away from me, neither cast me out from thee, for all these thy servants. For thou thy self are he that offers us all the accept the strength of the oppressor God.
may receive the King of all who comes invisibly as courted by Angelica. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. We are Mr. Kabir, the representative of the Sheriff 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 of the
the Metropolitan Paul and the Archbishop Johanna, Bob, Lindy, Vivian, Jerry, Sydney, Harold, Harry, Carol, and all their families. The Lord God remember them in his heavenly kingdom, always, now, and ever, and unto ages of ages. The Orthodox servants of God departed this life in hope of the resurrection and life eternal, especially Alice, Zakia, Jack, Glee, Sally, Gloria, Victor, Larry, Eloise, Gladys, Jeanette, Barbara, Fred, Edma, Nellie, Renee, Samir, Eva, P Pete, Donna, Olga, Alessia, and Vladimir. May the Lord God remember in his heavenly kingdom always, now, and ever, and unto the ages of ages. Let us complete our prayer unto the Lord. For the precious gifts now set forth, let us pray to the Lord. For this holy house and those who with faith, reverence, and the fear of God into therein, let us pray to the Lord. For our deliverance from all tribulation, wrath, danger, and necessity, let us pray to the Lord. Lord have mercy. Help us, save us, have mercy upon us, and keep us, O God, by thy grace. Lord have mercy. That the whole day may be perfect, holy, peaceful, and sinless, let us ask of the Lord. Angel of peace, a faithful guide, a guardian of our souls and bodies, let us ask of the Lord. Lord Pardon and forgiveness of our sins and transgressions, let us ask of the Lord. All things good and profitable for our souls and peace for the world, let us ask of the Lord. That we may complete the remaining time of our life in peace and repentance, let us ask of the Lord. A Christian ending to our life, painless, blameless, peaceful, and a good defense before the fearful judgment seat of Christ, let us ask. Calling to remembrance our all holy, immaculate, most blessed and glorious Lady the Theotokos, and ever Virgin Mary with all the saints. Let us commend ourselves and each other and all our life unto Christ our God. Through the compassions of thine only begotten Son, with whom thou art blessed, together with thine all holy, good, and life-giving Spirit, now and ever and unto the ages of ages. Peace be unto all. Let us love one another that with one accord we may confess. door.
doors, the doors in wisdom, <clears throat> let us attend. I believe in one God, the Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, and of all things visible and invisible, and in one Lord Jesus Christ, the Son of God, the only begotten, begotten of the Father before all worlds, light of light, very God of very God, begotten not made, of one essence with the Father, by whom all things were made, who for us men and for our salvation came down from heaven and was incarnate of the Holy Spirit and in the Virgin Mary and was made man and was crucified also for us under Pontius Pilate and suffered and was buried. And the third day he rose again according to the scriptures and ascended into heaven and stood at the right hand of the Father. And he shall come again in glory to judge the quick and the dead whose kingdom shall have no end. And I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord and giver of life, who proceeds from the Father, who with the Father and the Son together is worshipped and glorified, who spake by the prophets. And I believe in one holy Catholic and apostolic church. I acknowledge one baptism for the remission of sins. I look for the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come. Let us stand aright, let us stand with fear, let us attend, that we may offer the holy oblation in peace. O mercy, O peace, O sacrifice, O praise. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God the Father and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with all of you. And with thy spirit. Let us lift up our hearts. We lift them up unto the Lord. Let us give thanks unto the Lord. Eat, 
This is my body which is broken for you for the forgiveness of sins. Drink of this, all of you. This is my blood of the new covenant, which is shed for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sins. I remember us therefore the saving commandment, all those things which have come to pass for us, the cross, the grave, the resurrection, and the third day, the ascension of the heaven is sitting at the right hand of the second and glorious coming. Thine own of thine own we offer unto thee in behalf of all and for all. We praise thee, we bless thee, we give thanks unto thee, O Lord, and we pray unto thee, O our God. And again we offer unto thee this rational and bloodless worship, and beseech thee and pray thee and supplicate thee. Send down thy Holy Spirit upon us and upon these gifts here spread forth to make this bread the precious body of thy Christ, and that which is in this cup the precious blood of thy Christ, changing them by thy Holy Spirit. Amen, amen, amen. That for those who shall partake thereof, they may be into vigilance of soul, of the remission of sins, and the communion of the Holy Spirit, and of the fulfillment of the kingdom of heaven, and the fullness toward the end of the judgment of the Lord Jesus. Again, we offer unto thee this rational worship for all those who have faith in the Lord and in glorious Lady Theotokos and ever Virgin Mary. Metropolitan Joseph and our Bishop Basil, whom do thou grant unto thy holy churches in peace, safety, honor, health, and length of days, and rightly dividing the word of thy truth. Amen. And of those who offer these precious gifts to the Lord our God, the Honorable Presbytery, the Diaconate in Christ, and every priestly order and of their salvation of the peace and stability of the whole world, the good estate of the holy churches of God, the salvation and help of the people here present, 
those whom they are remembering, and of all mankind. And of all mankind. And grant us with one mouth and one heart to glorify and praise an honorable, majestic name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, now and ever and unto ages of ages. Amen. And the mercies of our great God and Savior, Jesus Christ, be with all of you. Having commemorated all the saints again and again in peace, let us pray to the Lord. Lord have mercy. For the precious gifts which have been spread forth and sanctified, let us pray to the Lord. Lord have mercy. That our God, who loveth mankind, receiving them upon his holy, most heavenly, and ideal altar, savor of spiritual sweetness will send down upon us in return his divine grace and the gift of the Holy Spirit. Let us pray. Lord, have mercy. Asking for the unity, the faith, and the communion of the Holy Spirit, let us commend ourselves and each other and all our life unto Christ our God. And vouchsafe, O Master, that with boldness and without condemnation we may dare to call upon Thee, the heavenly God, as Father, and to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit, now and ever and unto the ages of ages. Amen. Peace be unto all. And to thy spirit. Bow your heads unto the Lord. Through the grace and compassions and love towards yes. mankind of thine only begotten Son, with whom thou art blessed, together with thine all holy, good, and life giving Spirit, now and ever and unto the ages of ages. The holy things are for the holy. Remember me, O Lord, in thy kingdom. Not as a judgment, nor as a condemnation. 
May my partaking of thy holiness be to the Lord, and unto the healing of soul and body. Forgive me, my brethren, can celebrate. Forgive me, my brothers and sisters, in the name of Christ. Will I draw near under Christ in the morning? nice to see this morning a lot of new faces here at St. George Cathedral. We welcome all of our guests and visitors. Please be reminded, however, that only those Orthodox Christians who are in good standing with the Church are to partake of the Holy Eucharist. With the fear of God, with faith and with love, draw near.
upon the seas and upon the river sea hath prepared it. Alleluia. O shall ascend into the mountain of the Lord, O who shall stand in his holy place. Alleluia. He that is innocent in hands and pure in heart, who hath not received his soul in vain, and hath not sworn deceitfully to his neighbor. Alleluia. Such a one shall receive a blessing from the Lord, and mercy from the God his Savior. Alleluia. This is the generation of them that seek the Lord, of them that seek the face of the God of Jacob. Alleluia. Lift up your gates, O ye princes, and be ye lifted up, ye everlasting gates. And the King of glory shall enter in. Alleluia. Who is this King of glory? The Lord strong and mighty, the Lord mighty in war. Alleluia. And the King of glory shall enter in. Alleluia. O God, save thy people and bless thine inheritance. We have seen the Unto ages of ages. Amen. Let our mouths be filled with thy praise, O Lord, that we may sing of thy glory. For thou hast made us worthy to partake of thy holy divine and mortal and thy creating mission. Us in thy holiness, that all the day we may meditate upon thy righteousness. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. Stand upright, having partaken of the divine, holy, immaculate. Immortal, heavenly, life-giving, dread mysteries of Christ, let us worthily give thanks unto the Lord. Help us, save us, have mercy upon us, and keep us, O God, by thy grace. Asking that the whole day may be perfect, holy, peaceful, and sinless, let us commend ourselves and each other and all our life unto Christ our God. For thou art our sanctification, and unto thee do we ascribe glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, 
now and ever and unto the ages of ages. Amen. Let us go forth in the name of the Lord. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord of mercy. O Lord, who blesses those who bless thee and sanctifiest those who put their trust in thee, save thy people and bless thine inheritance. Preserve the fullness of thy church. Sanctify those who love the beauty of thy house. Glorify them and recompense by thy divine power, and forsake us not or put our hope in thee. Give peace to thy world, to thy churches, to the priests, to the civil authorities, to the armed forces, and to all thy people. For all good giving and every perfect gift is from above, and cometh down from thee the Father of lights. And unto thee do we ascribe glory, thanksgiving, and worship, to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and unto the ages of ages. Amen. Blessed be the name of the Lord, who has spoken forevermore. Blessed be the name of the Lord, who has spoken forevermore. Blessed be the name of the Lord, who has spoken forevermore. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord have mercy. The blessings of the Lord and his mercy come upon you. There is divine grace and love toward mankind, always, now, and ever, and unto ages of ages. Amen. Glory to thee, O Christ, our God, and our hope. Glory to thee. Glory to the Father. May he who rose again from the dead, Christ, Christ to God, through the intercessions of his all immaculate, all blameless, and all blameless. By the might of the precious and life-giving cross, by the protection of the bodiless powers of heaven, and the supplication of the honor of glorious prophets, the honor of Baptist John, the only glorious and laudable apostles, the only glorious and the glorious martyrs, the our venerable God-bearing fathers of the great Father, the church of the congregation of our community, the holy and righteous divine ancestor, Joachim and Anna, and of all the saints, have mercy upon us and save us, for as much as he is good and loveth mankind, through the prayers of our holy master, Lord Jesus Christ, our God, have mercy upon us and save us.